welcome to this video welcome to tell thoughts uh, in this video we are going to look at the numerical problems that are involving uh, the lift problems so now we have an elevator an elevator is the same as a lift which has a mass of 500 kilograms uh, we are told to calculate the tension in a string when the elevator is one stationary two moving upwards with an acceleration of two meters per second and then three when it is moving it downwards with the same acceleration of two meters per second squared now um this is a simple thing solution let's look at the solution roman numeral one if i sketch that this is uh, the mass this is the elevator uh, if the elevator i uh, will say that the mass of the elevator mg will act downwards and uh, the tension in the string that is pushing uh, the elevator upwards should be equal to what should be equal to the reaction of the what of the weight now uh, if the elevator is stationary we say that acceleration is zero now uh, if the acceleration is zero what does that one mean it means that uh, the net the net resultant force the net resultant force f is also equal to what is equal to zero what does this mean it means that t uh, t minus mg should be equal to zero if or mg minus t should be equal to zero which implies that t is equal to mg so our mass was given as 500 times g which is 9.18 one and you remember i told you that the value of g we use is 9.80 one analysis specified the other ways in advanced level physics the value we quote is 9 of g is 9.81 unless a state quoted other ways so we see that our force or the tension in the cable is 4905 newtons when the lift is stationary that is when the lift is what is it stationary now let's look at scenario number two when the lift is moving upwards so roman numeral two when if this is the lift or the elevator and it is moving upwards we know that the weight of the elevator will push it uh, downwards and the acceleration is pushing it upwards now what do we know for upward motion for upward motion the tension in the cable must be greater than the weight of the cable so we can call and say that for upward acceleration for upward acceleration comma the tension in the cable must be greater than the weight the weight or the what of the lift of the elevator so what does this one tell me that the net resultant force the net resultant force MA should be equal to T minus A MG. But for us, in our question, we need what? We need T. So T is equal to MA plus A, uh, MG. So this is the same as M into A plus A G. Therefore, the mass we know was 500. They say the acceleration was 2. This is 9.81. So we get our calculators and plug in those values. Uh, 500 bracket uh, 2 plus 9.81. Uh, it gives us the tension in the cable to be 5,905 newtons. That will be the tension in the cable when the elevator is moving upwards now uh, let's look at uh, 
question number, I mean Roman numeral three. Roman numeral three, they said it is descending with the same acceleration as above, as in two above, and the, which acceleration we got to be, I mean, we are given that the acceleration is two point, uh, is two meters per second squared. Now, uh, for downward motion, uh, let us first sketch if this is my elevator, its weight will pull it downward. Is it the tension will offer an equal but opposite reaction to this action? And uh, please, we use sine conversion to show the direction of what of uh, acceleration. Now, what you know that uh, for downward motion, for downward motion. For downward motion, comma, for downward motion, comma, the weight, the weight of the elevator, the weight of the elevator should be greater than, should be greater than the tension, the tension in the cable bigger than the tension in the cable this implies that uh, the net result and force ma will be equal to mg minus the tension so uh, if we make the tension a subject we see that the tension is equal to mg minus ma Therefore, our tension here is going to be 500 into 9.81 minus 2. So we say 500, open bracket, 9.81 minus 2. Uh, here, our tension is now 3,595 units. Tension is a force whose units should do what? Should be newtons. So, uh, guys, that is the how we, can, uh, we could go about that question. It is as easy as that. You look at the cases of the lift problem that uh, we looked at, and uh, after looking at uh, these cases, you should be knowing the correct. Uh, you should be knowing the correct expressions, and then substituting. You substitute in uh, those expressions. The moment you substitute in those expressions, right, uh, you'll calculate your correct answers.